Hi there, I'm Tylin, and last week I wrapped up redoing this small hallway. So over the last couple of years, I've been slowly working my way through renovating our whole house, and as I've done each room, I've also been replacing all of the doors and jams. So I did the first couple the traditional way and used shims to level everything up, but then I discovered this easy hang door hanging hardware, and it has been a total game changer. So I used it on the rest of the doors in the house. It is really quick and easy to install. It only takes about 10 minutes to hang a new door, and you don't have to worry about going through the sides of your door jam to attach it to the wall studs. The hardware just attaches on the front of the new jam, and then you cover it up when you put your trim on. So you'll see in the video that I kind of hop back and forth between the big door at the back of the hallway and this smaller closet door. The only reason for that is because I'm working in this really tight space and it was a little bit difficult to get the camera angles right on the big door so I used the smaller door a few times just to get a better camera angle on it. But the step by step is the same, the process still goes in order and I'll show you how both doors turned out in the end. So with that let me show you how this hardware works. The first step is to remove the old door and frame. So you start by removing the trim, and I like to use a combination of a taping knife and a small pry bar for this. So I use the taping knife to work under the trim at first, and then I can get the pry bar under and pull the trim the rest of the way off. So I just do that and work my way around the door until I can pull the trim all the way off. You'll have to remove the trim on both sides of the door because the trim is attached to the door frame and to the wall. So I started with the outside on the hallway side of the trim here, and then I went in the room and I removed the trim from that side also. Once the trim is off, you have full access to the frame. It's a little easier to remove the old door and jam if you take the door off its hinges first. So next up, I used a small screwdriver to pop the hinges out and took the door off. So then I was left with just the jam. Now the door jams in our house are just nailed into the studs, so then I just pried out each side of the frame until the whole jam came out and I was left with just a rough opening. And then it's time for the hardware. The first step is to mark a level line a half inch in from the rough opening on the hinge side of your new door. I just used a long level to make sure the mark was level and straight all the way up the side of the opening. Then I installed the hardware onto the new door frame. The instructions in the package lay out the locations for all the hardware, but you'll do three on each side. The first three go just below each hinge, and then you do the same on the opposite side so it kind of mirrors each other. Then the final one goes in the center at the top of the new door frame. I should mention that we didn't have to trim any of the new frames down, but depending on your rough opening, you may need to trim the new frame to be a little bit shorter so it fits. We had to trim one of the other doors in the hallway, but these ones were the exact right height. If you do have to trim the frame, just make sure to cut the same height off both sides. So far, I've just done all the interior doors in our house, but you can use this hardware on exterior doors as well. If you do exterior doors, you want to get two packs of hardware and you're going to put one set on the inside side of the door and the other set on the exterior side of the door. But for interior doors, you only need one set of hardware on one side. Once you get all the hardware attached, you're ready to hang the door. You could do it with one person, but it is a little easier if you have a second set of hands. So you start by lining up the hardware on the hinge side of the door with the level line that you drew a half inch in from that rough opening. The hardware has some small scored lines through the middle of it and you line those up all the way down with that marked line. Now that you're perfectly level on the hinge side, you can adjust the opposite side as necessary to give the door plenty of room to swing smoothly. I leave somewhere around an eighth to a quarter inch gap between the door and jam all the way around so the door won't get stuck as the house moves throughout the year with temperature and humidity changes. This door was a little sticky at the top corner when I first tightened the hardware down, but all I had to do was loosen it a little and push the jam over to get a little bit more clearance and then I just secured the hardware back down. Then it opened and closed really smoothly. So I'll give you a little wider view of the whole process on the big door here. I attached all the hardware to the door, 
then set the new door in the rough opening, leveled it up on the hinge side with the line I drew from the rough opening and secured it to the studs. Then move to the opposite side, adjust the gap in the frame so the door swings easily and secure that side down. Lastly, you secure the hardware at the top. And then you're good to go.